Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my vlog. So we just took a cab from Sandra Pompidou to the Louvre. This is going to be my first time in this art museum and I'm kind of excited but I'm kind of not excited because I know how big this museum is and I only have one hour. So basically the plan is to just run all over like a headless chicken. This is gonna be like a like a candy store where I don't know which one to pick. Okay guys, so the entrance to the Louvre is the pyramid. So where is the <laughs> I haven't even scratched the surface and I'm already out of breath. This glass pyramid was designed by Pei, and he's also a Pritzker Prize winner, which is like a Nobel Prize for architecture. is down inside the glass pyramid. I bought my ticket online and uh, they have a bunch of uh, timetables in the website. They kind of follow the timetable so they don't get a lot of people at the same time because they are still following COVID protocols. And for you to enter, you need to uh, show them the the vaccine passport or maybe the test result. You should have a negative test result or something. And also speaking of vaccine passports, please do get your vaccines. It's free. You can go to Walgreens or to any pharmacy, or it's better yet, just go to vaccines.gov for more information. If you're in the United States, and if you're not in the United States, please check your government uh, vaccine website for more information. I don't know why they have a Balenciaga ad on that building. I think that building's uh, the art school or something. So the museum collected around 400,000 artworks and they could only display around 35,000 artworks at a time, I think. I'm not sure. So we're really just gonna run around like a headless chicken. Run around with me if you want. Also, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Thank you so much. So it's my first time here oh, it's okay. and I don't speak French. 
so please expect me to butcher a lot of names and pronunciations. Thank you. They have three entrances. They have Denon, Sully, and Richelieu or something. So Denon's gonna be more toward Italian Renaissance art. Sully is gonna be more towards ancient Greek. And Richelieu is more art objects or something. I love that elevator. So we're gonna go to the Denon wing because I love Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean Leonardo da Vinci. I think the Louvre has a lot of uh, Leonardo da Vinci paintings. Da Vinci doesn't really have a lot of paintings and the Louvre probably has four or more da Vinci paintings in their Grand Gallery. So we're gonna go to the Grand Gallery first. It's uh, pretty easy to find because you're gonna see a lot of uh, Mona Lisa and directions towards Mona Lisa. Right now we are inside Daru Gallery and I think they have a lot of uh, ancient Roman, ancient Greek sculptures and the grand staircase in front of us is the Daru staircase and the only sculpture in here is the Nike of Samothrace or Samothraki. They found this uh, winged goddess in a small island in Greece and the island is called Samothrace or Samothraki. That's why they call it Nike of Samothraki. Isn't it cool? It almost sounds like Dothraki of uh, Game of Thrones. This is the, I think this is the Grand Gallery, and if you are like me who's bad with directions, the Grand Gallery is the, the side of the Louvre that's right beside the Sand River. And in the Grand Gallery, you're gonna see the Masters of the Masters, which means there's a painting there of Michelangelo's, of Michelangelo's master. There's a, a bunch of uh, old masters, the pioneer Renaissance period, Renaissance painting. She's La Belle Ferronière and if you look very closely she almost looked like Mona Lisa too. This is a Da Vinci's Virgin of the Rocks, Da Vinci's St. John the Baptist. To the left of this entrance before you enter you're gonna see some of uh, Raphael's paintings. This is where Mona Lisa is. 
in this room is the biggest painting right there and then you're gonna see also Titian's paintings the biggest painting in the Louvre is almost 7 by 10 meters It is the Wedding at Cana by Paolo Veronese and it's basically the biblical story where Jesus turned water into wine. This is the wedding at Cana, the biggest painting in the Louvre. The, it's almost life-size, or I think it's a little bigger than life-size. It's huge. And uh, I think this is a... This is here because uh, they stole it during war. They took it with them as a war loot. It was said that Paolo Veronese is the guy wearing the white and Titian is the guy wearing red playing the cello. But who cares about that, right? When you have so much cute dogs in the painting. I love these dogs. Look at them. They're so handsome. Is that a chihuahua? <laughs> you also have to check the galleries behind Mona Lisa and this is um, the red gallery I think. This is uh, Napoleon's coronation, the coronation of Napoleon. It was painted by Jacques-Louis David, another Jacques-Louis David. David Jacques Louis. This is a replica of the death of Marat. He was killed by Charlotte Corday. We are off to Gallery de Pologne. It's a gallery dedicated to the god Apollo or Louis XIV because I think he considers himself as the god of the sun or sun king. At the center of the ceiling is uh, the La Croix Apollo slays the Python. The artist who designed this uh, gallery is the same artist who designed the Versailles. Nee. 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 Housed in this gallery is the French crown jewels. This is Louis XV's crown, but that's a fake. The rest of the display are real.
The big stone is the Regent Diamond. It's 140 carat. And I think the pink one is the Hortensia Diamond. And the other one is the Sansi Diamond. I think the Hortensia Diamond is named after the king's stepdaughter or something. And the Regent Diamond is named Regent Diamond because it was a gift from the Regent of France. And let me see. This pinnel is probably the oldest jewel in this collection. So the theme of the of this gallery is about the sun, hence the astrological signs on the ceiling. These are mostly Empress Eugenie's jewels. This is the wing directly opposite the Grand Gallery. It's on the other side. And I think it's right by Rue de Rivoli. It's mostly furniture and artifacts. On our way out, we can go visit Core. Marley and Core 
PUJ or PUJA. These are basically sculptures that they saved from the elements or from the war. Some of these sculptures have replicas in Place de la Concorde. It's where they did a lot of guillotine stuff. I think that's where they chopped Marie Antoinette's head off. I can't believe you're still watching my video. Thank you so much. You made it this far. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. This video is supposed to be an hour and 45 minute long, but I'll just, I cut it in half. Ruby's probably in the hotel by now, tired from shopping for cheese and tired from walking around Galerie Lafayette. to Arc de Triomphe de Carousel. Arc de Triomphe de Carousel. I don't know if I said it right. Right behind the Arc de Triomphe de Carousel was the Tuileries Palace. But it was not there anymore because uh, during the revolution, the people of France <laughs> decided to burn it down. Let's go grab a taxi back to the hotel. Uh, Ruby and I reserved a tour and come with us. After we left Paris, they wrapped Arc de Triomphe like a gift, and I think it's somewhat a tribute, a tribute to the artist Christo. <laughs> ¶¶ 
This is Ruby's treat to our fellow shopaholics. Need to be. <laughs> this is not my Hermes. I'm not going to be my Hermes in this area. lagay mo sa bagahe. Ipasok mo dyan yung mga, mga damit tsaka yung mga ano, toiletries. Oh my ano god. Masyado namang ano to. Yan. Tapos yung reversible na lang. Oh yeah. Okay, di pa magkamahal yan. 800 ba yan? 800 euro ba yan? Parang 700 something euros. Hmm. Okay guys, tapos na ang unboxing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> my name is Jen Mike. What's your name? Alex. Alex. My name is Michael. This is uh, Ruby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> okay, do we really have to wear the helmet? It's a, oh my gosh, okay. In France, you have to ride in some states. Yeah. In the United States, I guess. Yeah. I know it's some part of the United States. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Look at this color. It's so pretty. Okay. If you want to remove your mask, you can. Like super early. Yeah, we're always like. Is it is it a very French thing to be super early? No, not at no? all. It's quite the opposite, actually. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to upload the rest of the retro scooter tour later. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.